our next guests are NBA legends on the court. Now they're taking their talent to the big screen in Uncle Drew. Please welcome Kyrie Irving and Shaquille Shaquille O'Neal, is that that's what your shirt says? No, you're not? Yes, you are. Okay, I know, like, like, like I really thought that. Hello, gentlemen. What's going on? How are you? How are you? This is such a fun movie. We need this. It's really <laughs> wonderful. Uh, you're seven years retired. When you heard about this and they said they want you to play an old man, Shaq, I mean, how did you, uh, how did you feel about that? Well, I've been a fan of Uncle Drew ever since the commercial first came out. So when they called me and asked if I wanted to be in the movie, I said, sure. Uh, because, you know, the commercial was very entertaining and we read the script, the script was very entertaining. So when they asked me to be an old man, I'm just being myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've been an old man since, yeah, since I knew you at LSU. I'm You've old. been an old man. Yeah, I'm old. No, no. Only about 52 million people have seen the ad. And for, yeah. for you know, because the first one I saw the trailer, I was like, is this the, is this the commercial again? Or is yeah. they, they're making this a movie? You, you probably had no idea it would no, turn I had, into something like this. I had no idea. None, none. Um, I think it was just... Uh, it was, a, it was a good feeling to be part of something bigger than yourself that started as just an idea in New Jersey where I'm from and uh, you know it was just it was awesome to see it trans transition and transform into what it is now as a full-blown movie. I, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. It's, so what, it's when they thing. first approached you, what did you, I mean, what was your response? Well, I thought they were crazy. Yes. No, no, I thought they were crazy at first. Right? Really? No, no, I thought I was, I couldn't believe that I was going to be featured in a film. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, cool. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. But then once everything started to come together with production and we had a, a great collaborative group, yeah. and now it's turned into an organic movie. I like it. Uh, uh, Wolverine's grandpa, that's what they're saying that, that your look is, Shaq. Um, um, have, you, have you seen the look? Uh, I, mean, I mean, come on. Well, I mean, that, that comparison. <laughs> I, I kind of wish I had hair like that. <laughs> That's, but I um, also saw the flick. Um, not that we're going to show the scene, but you're, you played a, a semi-nude. Not a nude scene, but a semi. I have no idea what you're talking no, about. No, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. You know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about this. Want to see a little bit of Uncle Drew? Yeah. Okay. Take a look. For geriatric. It's a shame you can't back any of it up. Oh. Oh my nuts. Oh Joe nuts. Come on back. Lock the door. Oh. Don't do it like that, Uncle Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play ball back in the day. You're just making a smile. Not yeah. that we, not that we look quite like that, but it's just, yeah. it's just so incredibly uh, uplifting. Uh, I, I, I really believe in paying homage to the ones that have come yeah. before you. Um, you know, a lot of uh, influences in basketball. Um, anyone. It's just they laid the foundation in order for me to be the player I am today. So just learn as much as possible from the past generations making it as original as I can and then mm -hmm. passing it down to the younger one. Did he lay the foundation to you for you, Shaq, too, by, uh, I hear you're a rapper? A rapper? Yeah, that's oh, what I heard. No, you got no, skills. No, no, no. I, I, no come oh, on, no. man. No. I, sing, I sing. I sing a little. Sing, okay, sing. What, what Ridiculous. You got? I have the song on the soundtrack. Right, right. I thought it would just be nice just to sneak Uncle Drew in on the soundtrack. I oh, you got a song on the soundtrack? Yeah, Ridiculous. <laughs> look, oh, look. Okay. That's me. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know you got skills. I got a cold rubber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sick. <laughs> oh. Weren't you in L.A. last night for the NBA Awards? I was. How'd I get here so quick? <laughs> <laughs> you know. what, what do you want, folks, who watch this show? We're going to bring the whole crew out here and have some fun there with them. But what do you want them to uh, the message from this? I'm just excited. It's a family-oriented film with a lot of life lessons, um, building relationships, utilizing a passion that I feel so strongly about, being able to share it with the world and have an amazing cast. Um, you know, I'm just excited for the opportunity for all of us. Um, but more or less the reception. Um, mm -hmm. You know, 
I think that professionally I have to kind of separate myself a little bit in terms of character and Uncle Drew got to be eccentric and you know talk a little trash to the older older guys um, as well as the extras on the film. Say eccentric? <laughs> yeah, I like eccentric. Big words, I like it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know Big word for one year guys. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it sounded good. <laughs> I'm, I can only imagine the fun you all had putting this for together. Sure, for sure. Well, thank yeah, we you. See it. Well, we're going to have everybody come on out here yeah. because Uncle Drew is in theaters nationwide on Friday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.